Hello, I'm a bit sick right now, but the show must go on. Or should I say the Joe Schmo show must go on. Hilarious as always, even in my worst of times. Here's episode three. If you didn't know, there's two episodes before this. It's a show about a guy who doesn't know he's not a fake reality TV show where everyone are actors except him. <laughs> Have fun. God. What would you do if your entire Damn. world turned out to be fake? Gunner, don't take offense to this, but you look like you can't whistle. I can't. Good call out. I don't know how. This place is fucking starting to drive me crazy. All right. This is the Joe Schmo Show. Let's do it, baby. Episode three. Now as Matt is locked Molly is not out. Gina's out. Sharing his thoughts in his daily interview, the cast secretly sneaks away and meets with the director to plot out the day. Last night, you went to a, a kind of a careful place. Uh suggesting that you might have something for Matt. No, okay, we've we got to defuse that bomb immediately. I wish I could redo and just do something really bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. Damn, is that real? Oh, it's so sad. She said she had a genuine connection with him. You've got to defuse that bomb because yeah. you opened a window and we're going to close it immediately. Okay. Yeah, you told them that you have a connection. Shut that shit down. Shut that shit down. You opened up vulnerably out of character for a second. Immediately be bitchy. We set up a couple things. One was this love triangle set up between me, Molly, and Ralph, the host. And me okay. just sort of looking like a complete bitch. Hey, Have a yeah. crush on. Oh, Ralph. Really? Yes, Ashley has a crush on Ralph, which I don't see. Um, I mean, Ralph's a nice guy. I'm not saying that, but he's a little older. Um, actually, I can't see it because... Ashley seems like the type that would go for the older, older man who's a little bit more successful. And I'm sure, you know, seeing Ralph in this situation with, you know, the possibility of this becoming larger than, you know, I think that that's probably appealing to Ashley as well. I feel like Molly. Yeah. Is kind of throwing herself. Really? Anyway. You also have a crush on Ralph. I feel like. Uh -huh. You're like a brother to me. You know, like we're close like that. We have like a connection. I can't believe that you. Don't, don't throw his heart through the fucking, don't brother zone him. Not the brother zone. <laughs> oh no. I feel that way. It was never in my dreams that one of the members of the household would want to hook up or have a relationship with or date the host. So I'm a bit surprised by that. <sighs> You think he's hot? Yeah, I do. No shit. Yeah. But You're not allowed to hook up with him, at least. I won't. No, I won't. For a while. I live, we live in LA. Yeah. So, I'm not worried about it. I've thrown my aspirations for hooking up with Ashley out the window. I no longer have. Damn, man. All right, look, you can mess with him, all right? You go through these challenges. It's morally questionable. Don't throw this guy's heart for a loop. That's not cool. Here's the thing, though. I really do think she was probably being genuine in the hot tub thing last night because her character is to be bitchy, and she was just being nice to him. I think that was probably just out of, like, her just doing it. And now she has to walk it back. That sucks. Not only getting his heart thrown for a loop, but thinking that she's going for the character host who's supposed to be a douchebag and gave them all headshots of himself at dinner last Last night. He's got to be all types of confused. I don't think it's real. I just don't think she's putting on airs. Like to be really sweet and really nice and really perfect. She doesn't think she's actually a virgin. Yes. What Ashley had told me was I didn't like it and I disagreed with her opinions about Molly, but I believe that she is that innocent person that came here. However, I would raise up my antennas and try to um, monitor from a distance Molly's behavior and see if there was some credibility to what Ashley was saying. Fair enough. Do you guys have fun in your room? I mean, it's okay, but it's kind of hard because... Do you, Molly? I don't know. I mean, she just she just kind of snapped at me a couple times. and Really? I don't know, I might ask to switch rooms or something. Nah. Are you lying? Are you lying? No, no. It'll be all good, just stay calm. And I'm everything seeing through it. No, I just don't like tension. Are you no, lying just, right now? No. Well, do I lie? I'm gonna go touch up my makeup, I'll be right back. Thank you. You're gonna touch up your makeup for lunch? Yeah, thank you. Very nice. But then when I left the room, he started scheming with everybody about voting me off. Let's go. Let's get her out. 
Yeah. Let's get around here tonight. We can talk about all that. Hey, man, taking charge. She rejected you. Get her out of here. <laughs> she opened her heart up and then tells you she likes the host the next day. Uh, yeah, I say rally the troops and get her out of here. We don't take that disrespect in this house. Get her out of here. Pack your bags, Ashley. Can you at least not say anything, Ashley? Because that yeah, would totally I'm screw promise. us. Okay. Yeah. So we're cool that far. We're going. Awesome. This guy has bit on every piece of breadcrumb we've dropped out for him. He had a crush on Ashley. She Ashley you, admits to him that she's going to crush on Ralph. True, preach, and brother. he's like, man, I'm not having it. I want her out. Can, can I have a few more words with you? Um, yeah. Last girl that said away. she wasn't interested in me, slash her tires. Yeah. Just for fun. <laughs> Sorry, that was, that was, I'm, I'm fucking lying, guys. No girl would reject me, ever. All right. Neither is Brian. We're voting for Ashley, and we want you to do so as well. I kind of didn't know what to say, actually. I'm like, should I agree to this, or? But yeah, so I, Hutch would agree, and uh, maybe backstab him later. Do you have to say? Or guy. <laughs> Why the sudden turn? Talk about that later. We'll talk about it after we vote her off. Oh, Hutch is down. Oh, of course, Hutch is down. Don't actually out then. Cricket's like, you don't fuck want yeah. to, if you don't feel comfortable. Damn, he's really, he's really going individually to everybody to tell them we're voting off Ashley. Ashley, I'll go with you, dude. At that point, I figured that's, you know, four votes for Ashley. Um, <laughs> he really did campaign her. Dr. Pat come along, that's five. Some of us have the same. Wow. I expect him to be more, like, nonchalant about this. He never, he never even asked me. He was just like, this is what's going on. People are voting for Ashley. That was his little maneuver. I don't know, but that's interesting. Again, you know, take it for what you will. Like, Brian and I are obviously friends. Right. Earl, I'm close with Earl and you, and I, I, Kip, and like, I believe Molly's genuine. At least two people. Hutch is easy to get rid of. And oh, yeah, that's the other thing, too. He's doing Ashley over Hutch. And Hutch replaced Kip's photo book with pictures of his asshole and cut up all the other pictures. Everyone would want to vote out Hutch right now. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. No, come. No, no, um, they want us to go to our rooms now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll stay, going. stay, stay. I'll, I'll, stay. I'll go stay. to my room. We're making plans. Come. Are you guys done? Kip, we're done. We're done. Thank you. My new goal is to keep the realest, the most fun, people who cause the least tension around. And Okay, all right, Matt, I will have to disagree with you here. The Hutch is definitely worse than Ashley at this point. I won't feel as bad voting Ashley off as I would Molly, Dr. Pat, Earl, and the others. What about Hutch? <laughs> this is your Lord of the Manor immunity showdown, and it's time for each of you to stand in the spotlight. Once again, you're going to compete for the coveted Immunity Rose. Pass mine tonight. Immunity Rose. This is the baby. only thing that can protect you tonight at our Riches to Rags eviction ceremony. Now, earlier we asked you to come up with a talent that is going to wow us. You're going to get the chance now to show it off. Your acts will be judged by myself and one other very special guest, the multi talented Jerry from Survivor you. Manthe. My job was to be as brutal as I possibly could. Okay, so is every woman's character on this show being the bitch? We already have My a bitch character. Is Why is she also the bitch? <laughs> All right, yeah, we got a new woman. Bring her in. Your character is also the bitch. You are a bitch. Your character is going to be more mm, bitchy. That's actually Jerry, the bitch from Survivor Man. You said it. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> as we say in show business, break a leg, guys. Your very first performer, please welcome Brian. Matt and the actors were allowed to prepare their acts before the talent show began. I had the giggles from, from the get-go because I knew Jerry was just gonna tear us a new one, and I was just waiting for it. Thank you for the prime sub, Sleepy Ear. Sleepy, Sleepy Ear. Sleepy Ear 26, or Sleepy Ear 26. Thank you for the prime sub. Whoa, wow, Matt got out of a seat for that. He was like, oh, shit! I think I've heard better playing on tin cans by a two-year-old. <laughs> wow. Okay. What a bitch. Harsh. Oh, no. I liked it much better than that, Brian. I hope so. But I think overall it was pretty good, so I'm going to give you a five. 
Okay. All right. Ooh, I think he killed it. it. Next act. Please welcome Dr. Pat. I don't want to find anybody. I was nervous. I was nervous I was going to get up there and make a mistake or laugh and just break character and be like, okay, okay. I was just so afraid that I was going to mess it up. Pat, without you, <laughs> I'm like a sail without its wind, a tree without its roots, a ski without its boot. You know, I wasn't quite sure, you know, what she was going to do at the beginning, and, uh... Where's the remote? I know something you don't need a remote to turn on. <laughs> Sorry. <whistles> Walter, Walter. <sighs> One thing I felt bad about was that <laughs> Earl wasn't aware that it was her life. And he was laughing. He thought it was funny. That oh, my bad. It didn't even Sorry. occur to me to say, like, Earl, it's not something funny. Walter, Sorry. I'm home. I got Chinese food. God damn it. Can't you see I'm resting my eyes? Hey, I just, I just thought maybe you'd like some. Well, oh, congratulations, goddamnations. You're home. Big fucking deal. Why don't I just tell the whole goddamn neighborhood your, your stupid husband's sitting home and drinking all day? Here. Hey, everybody. Pat's home from working while her lazy ass husband is sitting around drinking Keystone. Well, it's just Kung Pao chicken. <sighs> this is so moving. That's it, Walter. It's over. I'm leaving. Pat, Why is she don't smiling? Leave. What a bitch. Yeah, I want a separation. No! Don't leave. <laughs> See. Wow. <laughs> Jerry, let's start with you. I'm going to give you a one. The loneliest number. <laughs> I thought it was so great that we had Jerry there, just being such a bitch to everybody, and um, you know, <laughs> Dr. Pat just taking it. I just thought it was it was kind of sad. You know, I didn't really see the, the the talent part of it. So I'm gonna give you a four. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Someone's gotta be. I really appreciate that she could you know put all that out there. Um, you know, that takes a lot of courage. Molly. <laughs> So, you know, I had on the cute little pink shorts and sweet and innocent, but still, that's like every 15-year-old's, like, dream, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't. She said it. She's weird. Nice. Shake the boobs. Nice tits. So the Show's talent show was supposed to Molly's coming into her own sexuality, kind of discovering, okay, it's okay that I shake my hips and do pelvic thrusts. It, it's, it's not a sin, it's okay. Character growth, baby. That was absolutely horrendous. I'm giving a zero. What about the body? I mean, come, what? with hips what? like that, you should be able to keep a that your, your Is that your vote? Yeah, that's my vote. Well, I thought it was very game of you, and you're charming as hell. And I thought you did a great job, and I'm gonna make up for my part, and I'm giving you a nine. Thank you. All right? Whoa. Seems a little weird. <laughs> I mean, a nine <laughs> was just hula hooping. I don't think Matt even knows what to think about this. You had Molly with the hula hoop that I gave a nine to, because that, at this point we were kind of developing my fixation and my fascination with her. I think you gave her a nine because she's hot, to be honest. Trying to curry a little favor with the gorgeous blonde and potentially house. I would have given her a ten. What do you think? I'm a goddamn simp. All right, it was good hula hooping. Eight point five. A nine. Come on. Doctor Pat would have got no, nine. It's so. clearly into Molly, and I think Matt's getting the kick out of the fact that this rich bitch is not getting what she wants, and so I think somehow he's enjoying it a little bit. Earl, let's go. Whoa. That's right, dude. Now, just to show everybody, no rounds, so you'll feel safe, some of you. Gunner, do you hoop? And I assume you mean hoop as in hula hoop? No, I do not. Actually, I guess this is embarrassing because I can't whistle either, but I can't hula hoop. I've tried, I can't do it. it Earl sense. with a, I don't know, machine gun? <laughs> or oh, not God. When I was in seventh grade, we had to show our class how to do something, how to make something or do something. And mine was how to build a rubber band gun out of paper. So stupid. And for like 10 excruciating minutes, I'm up there doing paper origami, making a rubber band gun. My crush was in the class and I don't even think it worked in the end. I think it barely launched. That 
that sucked. But then the guy after me just shows you how to make nachos. He just brought in a bunk, a bunch of chips, poured them on a plate, put Kraft single cheese on them, and then put them in the microwave, heated up for 60 seconds. And he's like, there we go. That's mine. And I'm like, I could have did some bullshit like that. And then I did use that nacho technique because I had no idea you could do that. It blew my seventh grade mind. So I was actually really excited he showed me that because I, I did use that for years to come. You got it, dude. We're ready to rock and roll. And I'm totally scared right now. I'm going to give you a five. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to match her five, and I'm going to give you another five. Okay? That's a ten. That's a ten. That's great. You're in the lead, Earl. You're in the lead. Yeah. Put that away. Put it away. <laughs> Matt, you're up next. All right, Matt. What do you got? All right. I think he's going to dance. I've been beatboxing and messing oh. around since... 83 now, but for a long time, yeah, I always just kid around with it. I never thought that it was a talent. Can I get into it? I didn't see the fit before. Damn, these go hard. I feel like they're fucking him up with not having him mic'd very loud. Half this town is the dancing, it's the dancing moves. Okay, I do feel like he was missing a lot of, uh, like, tss, you know? I'm not a beatboxer, I just think he was missing a little bit of the tss. You know, the cats, not the boots, the cats. You know, the boots and the cats? Over the cymbals, there they are, cymbals. All right, let's see what this bitch rates him. Try to give that a low score. Well, Eminem, you are not. I give you a two. Two. Oh, just that retire, bro. Just retire. Very that point. amazingly oh, you're creative. Done for. Because he's he's so white, I'm gonna give you like extra points for like the difficulty <laughs> factor. So I'm gonna give you a seven. Yeah. Ralph. Ashley looked great coming out in her bikini. Uh, that canvas laid out there, and I saw the you know the paint bottle, so I figured it would be something neat. Yeah, we are on the censored version. Is this like an art? Oh, I get it. It's art piece. <laughs> she dead? Oh. It's like absurdist kind of, you know? The way the colors just splash onto the canvas. You know, if Farrah Fawcett couldn't pull it off, you can't either. <laughs> it's that simple. She did pull it off. Two. <laughs> Two. She did pull it off. I thought it was creative, and you've obviously put a lot of yourself into it. I give you a six. Hip! What's he gonna do? Something gay, probably, because he's gay. He's the gay so character. Nice. Come on, Kip, buck up, you can do it. Look at this. You're losing us, bro. Now, every man needs a handkerchief. Every man needs two handkerchiefs, but do you need magic. four handkerchiefs? Oh, come on. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Store magic is pretty magic gay. <laughs> Here's a rope, and make it straight, straighten that rope out. Could someone please snap their finger? Nice. Now I need a volunteer, please, to come up here. Go ahead, you go ahead. First, for you, pick a card. Okay. Swear to God, when I'm scrolling on TikTok, I get trapped in these live stream magic guys, like all the time. Show the card to the all of the cameras and to America. I meant trapped, no. I meant now like put the deck encapsulated. In half. Okay. Now put the card in one side of the deck. Magic okay. guys before the singing ASMR. Sometimes they're one of the same. Horrible and brilliant at the same time. I don't think anyone could keep a straight face. You see me shuffling them? I see it. Okay, now make this like very tight on your knuckles. Okay. Now it's in this one, right? It's in there. Watch this. Hold on. Oh. 
<laughs> just gotta show the card. <laughs> Should I loosen up a little bit? No, I was so ready to bust out laughing because I just so excited about doing bad magic. Yeah, There's nothing better. Okay, let's loosen, loosen up, up just up a little bit. bit. Okay. Just to, okay, there. Yes. Now show the audience. Nope. Is that the card? No, there. Is that the card? It's not the no. card. This oh. is the card. That's impossible. Yeah. Hell yeah. He was I knew doing he his do awful it. magic act. And Matt is such a great guy. He said, yo, yeah, that's it. That's the same card. So I mean, it's just another it's example cool. how he was always trying to like you're talking save certain it. people's feelings. I hate to burst your bubble, but that was not the same card. It wasn't. Oh, you bitch. Two points. <laughs> I thought she was harsh. I don't think she's a good judge of talent. And her true bitchiness came through. You know, for you to get up there, it took a lot of guts. And Speak I went, your mind. Give you a five for, for your courage, right? Walk off. Next act. Hutch, you're up. Our last act. Woo! What's Hutch gonna do? All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna sing a song. <clears throat> oh, beautiful. For spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple not where your heart is. mountains, is not where your heart is. majesty above the fruited plain. And he's sick. He violates social mores. But then he stands up there with no props in front of America and belts out America the Beautiful. And crowned by good with brotherhood from sea to, to shining sea. sea. All right, Hutch. That is crazy. Good job, my man. Crazy Great randomness. Job. I have to say, out of everyone that sucked, you sucked the least. So I'm gonna go with a nine. Oh, Jerry. I can't believe that voice came out of you. It was very nice. And I'm going to give nine. you a seven. Well, the whole purpose of the talent show was to give me immunity. Regardless of what I think of him, I believe he deserved a win. With a grand total of 16 points is Hutch. So I did my job. Good job, Hutch. Get this man an agent. He's ready to do lunch. Come on up. Oh, you know what that means. It's good Give to be the back, jacket, baby. The immunity you are, Lord, you oh. are immune from eviction this evening at the Riches to Rag ceremony. It's all right. We're voting out Ashley Wear anyway. Very well. Your star material. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Jerry, please. Thanks for everybody Thank for participating in the contest. You're all great. Thank you very Thank much. You. It was horrible. I hated being so mean. I mean, I was literally being what everybody thinks I am already. That was kind of sad. <laughs> That was a little real of a comment to leave off on. I'm just what they say I am. FYI, I pissed in the whirlpool last night. Oh, man. What nice. Asshole. You're going to get voted out. I want to be in a hot tub. Here's what I don't understand. I, you actually, that just makes me want summer. I want to be in a hot tub right now. Mike woke up this morning and I said, this is not the real world. This is a competition. I'm here for the moment, We're not bro. here forever. We're here to kid. the end. One person is going to make it. So one person. I'm not letting you get away with things anymore. No more apologies are going to be accepted from me. And I'm telling you the honest the truth. If you didn't win tonight, I would have voted you off, and I think a lot of people would too. So I now I don't I know, know who to vote for, but I tell you right now, me. I would have voted for you. I I'm think Kip showed that he was going to take more of a power role in the relationship and not let Hutch get to him. I would have voted for you. I'm saying it right to your face. I hear you. And I'm sure uh, many people would have as well. Hey, dude, I could vote for you tonight, so Go ahead. Be I don't, you know... I play my cars. Yeah, dude, you don't do anything. <laughs> Please, don't. Oh, maybe you shouldn't mention. Come on, Just, man. Let's change the subject. Try. Yeah, come on, man. Just because you can push his buttons is that's the only reason oh, you no. do it. And is because you, you can get to him. And you, but on, on, and, and, and you shouldn't let it. No. I see you're no, doing a good nothing. job right now. Good, good friend, man. Good thing? friend you are. I currently have one of the greatest bathrooms I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, great. I have two sinks. Two that mirrors. is a pretty nice yeah. bathroom. There's one mirror where you can see every single mark on your face. There's a regular toilet. And Wasn't overhyping you know, it. Commode looking thing, but. All right, I've never used a bidet. I'm kind of scared, I'll be honest. I had one at a house I lived in in two years, and I never tried it once. I was too scared. I thought it was like a, a wash thing if you wanted to spit or 
So I asked him, Kip said, told me it was a bidet, so I decided I was gonna try it out. Uh, felt pretty cool. <laughs> um, I just, I had to try it, so once is enough. <laughs> I'm scared I might like it. That's no, not why. I'm scared I might love it. Dr. Pat told me that you tell you? some other people are gonna walk around shit on you. Perhaps. Well, I just want you to know, nothing against you, but I'm not going to vote for her. I'm not going to vote for her. Who are you gonna vote for, Kev? She is, she is, you know, I don't, I don't understand why people are doing that. I think she's really great. I think she plays everything really well, you know. And I've told some people that, you know, I don't think that we should, you know. Of course, I thought we were all gonna vote for Hush, but that's out of He's the He's got the immunity rope. He's got his so belly just straight up. I can't. You don't ever have to. Ember had to, you know, apologize to me for your actions, you know. We're gonna have different experiences here. We're gonna think differently about the same thing. She really is a voice of reason. Well, why, why would you vote for Ashton? Well, I'd rather talk about it in private. And I will, I will look you in the eye. She put me in the brother zone. Okay. Right. I'm not, I'm, like I told you before, I'm very willing to hear what you have to say, and I, I, I want to hear it. Hey, it was because he got rejected by her that he did orchestrate the mass vote out on her, but it was also because she was talking trash about Molly as well. Maybe it's a double whammy, you know? Maybe that just, like, sealed the deal. Maybe he was defending Molly the whole time, and it just happened to be coincidental timing. Matt just thinks Ashley's just conniving bitch. I love it. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop with the snap out of the conversation. That's a little bit much. Okay, pretty dramatic. Anything could happen. You've all enjoyed living carefree in the lap of luxury. But for one of you, the vacation's over. One of you is going to say goodbye to high society. Go back to return to your sad existence working for the man. Sad existence. This is the richest of rags eviction ceremony. Each of you is represented here by your very own lap of luxury collector's plate. Your plate, much like your position here, is very fragile. As long as you remain in the if you receive the most eviction votes tonight, your plate will be cast into the fireplace and shattered along with your dreams of $100,000. One by one, I'm going to be asking you to evict the housemate of your choice in secret. Keep in mind that once again, Hutch is wearing the immunity robe. You cannot vote for him. That's right. So they can orchestrate whatever they want right now. So I'm wondering, are they gonna fuck with him and make it so that all the votes aren't for Ashley? So it looks like everyone's actually like just not listening to him at all. I feel like that's what they would do. Unless it's planned for Ashley to get kicked off. I think they would do something else. Kip, we'll start with you. Are they gonna show us? Okay, as they get closer. They're always so animated when they do these. Dr. Pat farted twice last night. Kip is a liar. Oh yeah, they just write whatever the fuck they want. Ashley. At our last eviction ceremony, we had to say goodbye to Gina. She is dead. Right. Those are her ashes. One of you read the books. Earl. Oh. Gunshot right to his chest. Which is ironic because he shows guns. And that was a different Ashley. That wasn't Joe. Right. That wasn't uh, Matt. So nobody listened to him. Earl. Earl with two. Two votes, Earl. One vote, Ashley. One vote, Brian. Ashley. Two votes Earl, two votes Ashley, one for That's Brian. not even how her name is spelled. Earl. They're kicking off my man Earl? No way. Ashley. Tied. It's tied. Three votes, siding vote in tonight's eviction ceremony. Earl. Brutal. 
Wow. You've been cut off from the lap of luxury. Back to your miserable, sad Before existence. Before you go from riches to rags. Damn. You already know Matt in the back room after this is going to be like, I told them Ashley. I loved Earl. Earl was my best friend. Then he died. Yeah, he did pass. Real well, life. I'd uh, like to thank the people in charge that gave me the opportunity here to participate. It's just been another great experience and a great life that I've had. Learned a little bit from you young people each day. But I got to single out one that probably taught me the most the uh, time I've been here. Matt? That'd be Kip. Damn. <laughs> so the rest of his I appreciate. Oh, he was looking at Matt. I thought, I thought he was going to say Matt. I wish you all good luck and continue to march. And thank you, Ralph. Thank you, Ralph. It's been a pleasure. Has been mine. Earl, pass your plate into the fire. The house is voted. Wow, Molly really got some fucking fake tears worked up for Earl getting fake kicked out of this fake reality show. Good job with that actress. You're dead to us. <laughs> You're dead to us. <laughs> Please leave. Earl, you're dead to us. Oh, don't you not give him a high five. Oh no. Oh, oh this is mean. Oh, oh this is so mean. Oh, this show is mean, dude. They didn't do that in jury duty, man. That's so rough, dude. Left him hanging. He was his best friend on the show, I'm pretty sure. Then he said Kip was his best friend. Didn't give him a high five. Damn. I mean, look at his face, dude. Looks like he just got hit by a truck. A truck of sad, empty friendship. Wow. Now there are seven of you left. You're each one step. Oh, no, dude. No, no, he's crying. No. Oh, this show is mean, dude. Tell him it's all fake. This is where you tell him it's all fake. That's so sad. If I was a producer on the show, I'd be like, you know, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this. Let's tell him right now. One hundred thousand dollars. Think about the events that led up to this moment. Learn from them. And get some rest. It's been a hard night. Dude, I'll be sad too. That's so sad. It's gonna be a big day tomorrow. crying because he got left hanging. It's more than that. They were friends. Being left hanging meant a lot. And he only hugged one dude, just Kip. He didn't talk to as much as Matt. Let's hear what he says. <laughs> He's fine. He'll be all right. Dude, nothing is worth this. No amount of money. It's not. It's not worth it, dude. It's gonna be fine. Or it's fucking it ridiculous, is. dude. I don't know what the fuck. Why I even came. Why put yourself through this? It's stupid. For what? For what? I think he was just sad he was getting kicked off then. He must have been sad about the high five too. That's what it seems like. Are they acting right now or are they actually all fucking confused because he's sad and they don't know what to do? God, I didn't know it was going to hit me like that. I was bawling. I mean, my whole body was shaking. I was crying so hard. It was highly emotional. I think it was just we were a little sad to see someone that we had gotten close to leave. Oh, so they were actually crying that the actor was leaving. We were all crying. They were real. And as an actor, it's really hard when you have to stay in character and still deal with that. Oh, wow. Okay, that was not what I expected at all. Okay, so Earl was just such a lovable guy that they didn't want to see him leave the show. He and Earl had gotten very close in some private conversations and that they were actually very real conversations, kind of fatherly moments with him that we still don't know and, you know, won't know what all of that information is because it's very private to them. <laughs> it's just Damn. not fucking worth it. It's not. <laughs> It's just not worth any amount of money. It's just not. And no one watching will understand until you're in the position. You have no idea. No freaking idea. 
Wait, this looks so funny on paper, this grizzled veteran and a gay guy, and it was gonna be ridiculous. How could you not laugh at that? And then we realized like there were feelings attached. And when Matt collapsed on the stairs, I'm like, oh my God, this, this is no good. We can't do this. We can't do this to this guy. And he's like, this isn't worth it. And what was ironic about that is that he said exactly what we were all thinking, like, this isn't worth it. But we still finished the season, baby. It's too much pressure. It's way too much pressure. He was, was going to be kind of emotional. Tears just streaming out of his eyes. And that is when the show just went, it just took a turn. A lot of the actors were sort of second guessing, like the whole process, the whole thing. And then we realized that all the producers and writers were doing the same exact thing. So we're like, damn, oh, dude, so Earl had such an impact on this show. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. God, I fucking stop this. Right now, with Earl's eviction, it really hit Matt hard. And uh, we don't know if the game's going to continue. But it is, because we got four or five more episodes. Wow, what an emotional episode. What a sad, emotional episode. I'm not crying.